Hi, welcome to Elaine and Lightning's video blog number 60. Today we're going to do um, a lesson in Course in Miracles, and I'm entitling this video blog When We Distrust Ourself or Self Distrust. And our lesson for today in a Course in Miracles is God speaks, uh, God's voice speaks to me all through the day. And this is lesson number 49. And we're going through A Course in Miracles in these video blogs. And at this point in the video blog series and also in A Course in Miracles, we're addressing that God's voice is always speaking to us all the time. And we just don't hear it. And so we might ask ourselves, why is it we don't hear it? And I just felt guided to share one aspect of that today. And that is when we um, have possibly grown to distrust ourselves. And in that way, we don't um, think that we can hear God's voice speaking or that we know the difference between his voice and our lower self mind or ego, is what I call it. And this can sometimes happen because when we're children, we have an experience where we're given instructions or we're given advice about something from some authority figure who we really looked up to. And either then or later, it turned out not to be true. And so we may have handled that differently. You know, some of us would possibly decide right then and there we're not going to trust people. Some of us might decide we don't trust God anymore because these people in our eyes as children, we look up to them um, as, you know, figures from God to help us and guide us. So it might happen through church, it might happen through um, a dad, or it could happen in many different ways because each person has a different perception of God anyway. And so it kind of depends on where you are, what you do with that. What I tended to do was to grasp and hold on even tighter to that um, a belief system, just constantly seeking the answers and the truth, and not really ever giving up. And um, But this might teach us, on a subconscious level, or maybe consciously, we decided then that we can't trust God, and that makes us distrustful then of outside authority, and it also teaches us that we have to get our um, advice and counsel from outside authorities. And we, there's, you know, there's a fine line there. There's this understanding that we need community, we need to belong. Um, and then there's that understanding that we can listen to uh, God's voice speaking to us. And I call it intuition. You may call it something else. You may um, call your high authority something else, and that's fine too. The idea here is, is that we want to realize if we are not hearing and we're confused about his voice, what could be the problem? And if this is, if this resonates with you, it might relate to your situation. And it certainly did for me. And I'm working on my forgiveness series right now, focusing on parent forgiveness. And this is something that I'm addressing there as well. I felt guided to go ahead and do a little bit of tapping today. So we can tap this lesson and the idea, our fear, just a really short little tapping around here where we'll address our fear that I don't, distrust, I don't trust myself to know the difference between the voices. And the reason being because we, we thought we couldn't trust other people. All right. So if you've not tapped with me, then you just follow along and repeat after me each phrase and tap where I tap. Okay? Well, we start out by taking a deep breath. And you can, um, it doesn't matter which side of your body you're on either. Just follow along. Even though I have this fear of trusting myself to know when it is God speaking. And when it is myself, I don't know how to tell the difference between the ego and the voice for God. I choose to be more powerful anyway. Even though I'm really afraid 
to believe that there is any, there's even a God at all. I don't know how to trust myself. Maybe my religion teaches, taught me not to trust myself. And now you're telling me God speaks through me? I thought he spoke through authorities. And so I'm really confused about this. I have an inner conflict now. How do I tell the difference? I'm not sure if I'm open to this. <clears throat> I choose to be more powerful anyway. Maybe my parents led me astray. Or maybe some authority at church. Or maybe a grandparent. <sighs> maybe I'm still blaming them. I don't know how to forgive this. I choose to be more powerful anyway. Okay. Okay, now you just take a breath and tune in and see how that feels right now. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the Course in Miracles now. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. It is quite possible to listen to God's voice all through the day without interrupting your regular activities in any way. The part of your mind in which truth abides is in constant communication with God, whether you are aware of it or not. It is the other part of your mind that functions in the world and obeys the world's laws. It is this part that is constantly distracted, disorganized, and highly uncertain. The part that is listening to the voice of God is calm, always at rest, and wholly certain. It really is the only part there is. The other part is a wild illusion, frantic and distraught, but without reality of any kind. Try today not to listen to it. Try to identify with the part of your mind where stillness and peace reign forever. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. Through the day. Amen. All right, just gives you a little idea of how the tapping works as well as gives you an opportunity to experience it in your own life. So tune into your body and see how that feels to you and see what it brings up. I'll see you next time. Elaine Enlightening at taplightunlimited.com. Bye-bye.